the day. Welcome to our fourth lesson in Thesis for Engineers. And now, we're going to talk about the kinematics of rotation. So first off, our learning objectives by the end of this videos is for the student to determine the angular displacement of a rotation, derive angular velocity and angular acceleration, to apply motion equation of rotation in a situational problem, and relate linear and angular kinematics of rotation. Our topic outline, rotational and angular displacement, angular and velocity and acceleration, motion equation of rotation, linear and angular kinematics, Rotational and angular displacement. What do the motions of a compact disc, a ferris wheel, a circular saw blade, or a ceiling fan have in common? None of these can be represented adequately as a moving point. Each involves a body that rotates about an axis that is stationary in some inertial frame of reference. Rotation occurs at all scales, from the motions of electrons in atoms to the motions of entire galaxies. We need to develop some general methods for analyzing the motion of a rotating body. In this chapter and to the next we will consider bodies that have definite size and definite shape, and that in general can have rotational as well as translated motion. Real world bodies can be very complicated. The forces that act on them can deform them by stretching, twisting, or squeezing them. We'll neglect this deformation for an hour and assume that the body has a perfectly definite and unchanging shape and size. We call this idealized model a rigid body. We begin with kinematics language for describing rotational motion. Then next chapter, we will look at the dynamic of rotation. The key to using energy methods for rotational motion. In the simplest kind of rotation, points on a rigid object move in circular path around an axis of rotation. In the angle to which a rigid object rotates about a fixed axis is called angular displacement. Angular displacement is when a rigid body rotates. In the given illustration, a compact disc, and it rotates about an axis. The angular displacement is the angle swept out by a line passing through any point on a body and intersecting the axis of rotation perpendicularly. So in the given illustration, so this line is our initial, make an angle that we will consider as initial angle, then make or turn up to this line that make an angle of theta. So the difference between this angle is what we call the angular displacement. Therefore, angular displacement or, or Theta, uh, delta theta is equal to the difference of theta and theta naught. By convention, the angular displacement is positive if it's counterclockwise. And negative if it is clockwise direction. 
the, stan the standard unit for angular displacement is region. The angular coordinate theta of a rigid body rotating around an axis can be positive or negative. So it depends upon your reference. So if you choose positive angle to be measured counterclockwise on the positive x-axis, then theta in the figure is positive. But if you choose or consider the clockwise direction as your positive, then the counterclockwise is negative. It's fun upon your reference what you're going to set as your positive direction of angle. So to describe rotational motion, the most natural way to measure angle theta is not in degrees. Rather, it is in radian. One region in the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc with a length equal to the radius of a circle. So an angle is subtended by an arc of length S on a circle of radius R. The value of theta in region is equal to S divided by R. So to convert degrees and region, it is only necessary to remember that the arc length of an entire circle of radius R is a circumference 2 phi R. And if you divide it by the radius r, therefore, for an entire circle, r theta is 2 phi r, which give also give us a degree of 360 or one revolution. Let's say if you want to convert 45 degrees into region, then using our conversion of 360 degrees is equal to 2 phi region, we can multiply 45 degrees with. to phi region divided by 360 degrees which will give us phi port region But if you want to convert by hubs region into degrees, we're just going to multiply it with 360 degrees over 2 phi region. Then it will give us 90 degrees. So I'll give an example. A synchronous satellite are put into an orbit whose radius is 4.23 times 10 raised to 7 meter. If the angular separation of the two satellite is 2 degrees, find the arc length to separate them. So our given radius is 4.23 times 10 raised to 7 
and theta of 2 degrees. And we are looking for the arc length. So first off, let's convert theta into ration. So 2 degrees times 2 phi r, 2 phi region over 360 degrees. We will cancel the degree sign. Therefore, the theta is 0 0.0349 region. So to find the arc length, we know that theta is equal to the ratio of arc length and radius, therefore, our arc length is equal to the theta times the radius. Using this and substituting the value of theta and r, we're going to have 0 0.0349 region. times 4.23 times 10 raises 7 meter. Therefore, our arc length is 1.48 times 10 raises 6 meter. Or if you want to convert it with mile, it is equal to 920 miles. Now, let's check your understanding by solving this problem. Mm -hmm. 